How are you doing today, my friend? Fantastic. I like to hear that. Well, uh, I'm assuming you're here for your annual cranial nerve exam. Is that right? Sure. Perfect. Well, you found the right place. Welcome back again. My name is Dr. Bailey, and I will be administering your cranial nerve exam today. Yeah. Well, uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to go ahead and get started. We'll just dive right into it. But first things first, I want to get a quick readout of your vitals. By doing that, I'll put on my stethoscope, get a quick listen to your heart rate, as well as just listen to your lungs, see how you're sounding overall. Does that sound good? Perfect. Okay. So what I need from you during this whole thing is just to relax, um, make yourself comfortable, make yourself at home. This is a very easy test and uh, it's gonna require very minimal effort on your end. So you can be very uh, at ease knowing that there's not a lot requirement of you here. Just hang out and uh, I'll just kind of administer the test around you. Does that sound good? Good, okay, perfect. Well, let me go ahead and pop my stethoscope in. And I'm just gonna have you take a deep breath on three, okay? One, two, three, breathe in through your nose. Good, and out through your mouth. Fantastic. And I'm gonna go ahead and just get a quick listen to your heart here. sounds good with your heart no concerns at all there um, now what I need you to do is just take a few deep breaths in like we just did a second ago and I'm just gonna listen to your lungs okay perfect all right so I'm placing this on your chest here just breathe in deep on three okay one two three breathe in and exhale good job perfect okay breathe in and exhale. Good. Over here on your side, breathe in. And exhale. Good. And breathe in. And exhale. Good. One more time on this side over here. Breathe in. And exhale. Fantastic work. Everything sounds perfect there. I have no concerns at all. Um, so that's good. Let me go ahead and jot that down really quick in my notebook here. Beautiful. And I'm gonna go ahead and assume your information from last time hasn't changed. Date of birth is pretty much the same. Um, height, weight, has your weight fluctuated at all? A little bit. Okay, well, we won't work it down. There's no big concern there. Um, as far as your lifestyle activities and whatnot go, pretty active still, a little bit. Okay, and drinking, smoking. Sounds good, okay, well, I'm, I'm not concerned. Um, well, what do you think we're going to start with, okay? Obviously the five senses, taste, smell, hearing, sight, and then we're going to touch around and see how you can feel on your face. Um, do any of those sound particularly nice that you might want to start with? All right, that's cool. No preference at all. Well, let's go ahead and just start with your sense of taste then while I've got the supplies out here, okay? Perfect. So, um, what I have here is a uh, batch of Q-tips, um, obviously unscented. Uh, We're going to start with taste. Scratch that. Let's go ahead and do that then. I've got a vial here, accumulation of about 10 or so, but we're only going to use about five of them. This is what it looks like, okay? 
um, what this is is just a corn syrup. Um, as always, nothing hardcore, nothing that's going to make you sick. It's edible, um, and it actually tastes pretty good. So um, I've got five assorted flavors. What I'm going to do is just put a drop of this on your tongue, and you just let me know what flavor you taste, okay? Okay, I promise there's no booger flavors, all right? Sure. Okay, well, first things first. I do want to pop my gloves on here. I don't want to be all up in your personal space. I'm spreading my bacteria over you. So, just pop these on real quick. And we will get started on the exam. So, let's give it a try with the, uh, the personal favorite. What I need you to do is just stick your tongue out. And I could put a couple drops on your tongue. You just tell me what this is, okay? All right, ready? Here we go. What's that taste like? Coffee, perfect. Absolutely correct. Put this one on, go to our next one here. This one actually tastes pretty good too. Open up. One, two drops. Watermelon, yeah. That one tastes a lot like summertime, big fan. <laughs> yeah, big fan of that one. This next one's kinda Kind of weird, but you either hate it or you love it. That might give it away. I think you can guess what it is before you taste it. Here you go. One, two. Licorice. Ugh. Sorry. But that's a bitter taste. Make sure that those sort of senses in your taste buds are working, and clearly they are, so good. And our last one here. A little bit more there on your tongue. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, that's grape. Perfect. And last but not least. This is not as much of a taste as it is a sensation. And it's quite intense. Sour apple, that's right, yeah, yeah, good. So we made sure you're sweet, bitter, and uh, sour tastes work. And obviously they do, so good job. Just as easy as that, that's gonna cover that portion of the test. While I have you here though, what I do want to do is just take a quick look at the back of your throat and your tongue. Have you been having any issues with the uh, throat, tongue, teeth, anything like that? Not in particular? Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take a look with my um, ophthalmoscope here. This is just a pointed tip. It's going to allow me to kind of see in the back of your throat well, okay? So just open up for me. I'm going to take a quick look, okay? Perfect, here we go. Open up, say huh. Good, move your tongue up to the roof of your mouth. Good, over to the side. Good, other side. Good, good job. And just go ahead and stick it out. Good, okay. I don't see any problems at all there. Maybe a little pink. It could just be allergies from this time of year, but nothing to be concerned about. So, so far you're passing these tests with flying colors. Good job. Go ahead and jot that down here in my notebook. Here we go. Wonderful. 
A plus. Now, what I want to do is uh, just get a, a, a taste, excuse me, test your sense of smell. So, back to the previous. I've got these cotton swabs here, and I've also got uh, five to six vials, um, and this is just a spray solution. They each have their own distinct smells. And what I'll do is I'll take a Q-tip, simply just spray a little dab of, um, of, the, of the fragrance onto the Q-tip, and then I'll just waft it in front of your nose, and you just tell me what you smell. Easy as that. Sound good? Good, perfect, okay. Well, let's go ahead and dive right into it then. Q-tip number one. Fragrance number one. Okay, you, what do you smell there? Yeah, lavender, good job. That one actually smells very nice. Get another Q-tip out. Quick spray. Move it in front of your nose. Pine, yeah, very, very unique, but very recognizable, so good. Two for two, good job. Get another Q-tip here. Shake this one up real good, it can get clumpy. And what do you smell there? Yeah, strawberry. Well, cherry, strawberry, same thing, but close enough, good job. I'll give you a pass on that one. And this one is one of the flavors that we had. Very unmistakable. Shake this one up. What's that smell like? Coffee, yeah, good job. Good, 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 good. And. Last one here. This one smells really nice. Smells like Christmas. Cinnamon, yeah. Perfect. Well, you, my friend, are five for five again, so. The nose works well. Sense of smell, sense of taste. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful indeed. And while I have you here, Again, I just want to take a quick look at your actual nose. So I'm going to change the tip of my ophthalmoscope to something that's going to allow me to do that a little better. Now we'll be grabbing your nose for this, so uh, just be warned, <laughs> but nothing, nothing to be concerned about. I'm just going to lift up and take a quick look into your left nostril real quick, okay? Nothing to be concerned about there. Let's take a look at this other one now. Lifting that up. Good. Okay. Yeah, everything looks really, really good. A little dry, but no worries there. Okay, now we are on to vision. Quick vision test. So what I'm gonna do here, just uh, obviously I'm not an opt optometrist, but I just wanna get a quick gauge of how your eyes are doing, um, if you're able to see relatively well. And if you have a, a really hard time with this, I might forward you over to an optometrist where they can do a little more detailed check on your eyes, but for all intents and purposes, let's just uh, take a quick look while we're here. So what I have here is a small Snellen chart, um, and I just need you to read this, this third line, okay? with your both eyes open, okay? Sound good? Perfect, all right. So just read that for me. Perfect, well done, my friend. And fourth line down. Good, 
And how about the fifth? Well done. Good job. Good, good, good. All right. Now what we're going to do is a, uh, a test just to uh, see how your peripheral vision is working. What this is going to entail is me using both of my fingers here just to uh, test out your eyesight, okay? So you just let me know which finger you see wiggling, okay? Just point at it. Good. Perfect. Well done. Good. Great job. Good job. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Good job. Great work. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm just going to come from the outside of your field of view, bring my fingers in, okay? Whenever you see my fingers come in your field of view, just say left or right. Easy as that. Your left or right. Sound good? Perfect. All right, here we go. Yes. 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 Good. 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 And are you seeing these at about the same time? You are? Good. Good. No discrepancies between the eyes, you don't think? Good. Perfect. Well, all looks fine there, so I'm not worried about anything there at all. Um, quickly, while I am here, I want to take a quick look at your eyes. Um, see if I can't get a look into the back of your eyes, your optic nerve. Take a quick glance at your sclera. Obviously, the whites of your eyes are looking healthy, but I do want to put a little light into it. Um, so I have my ophthalmoscope tip here, and uh, I'm just going to take a quick look, if that's okay with you. Perfect. Okay. Focus on my nose for me. Good. Keep looking here. Good. Good. All right, I'm gonna pull down your lid here. Keep looking at my nose. Good. Good. Other side. Keep looking at my nose. Good. Fantastic work. Beautiful. I'm not seeing anything to be concerned about there at all. The eyes are looking fantastic, okay? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, really quickly, I'm going to do a, a, a quick test of your eyes, um, left and right eye, respectively. Um, I'm just going to start out by covering your right eye, okay? And I'm going to lift up my hand, and you're going to tell me how many fingers I'm showing you, okay? Perfect. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cover your right eye here, and you tell me how many fingers. Good. Good. Beautiful. Good. 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 Right eye is looking fine. Check out your left eye now, okay? Or your right eye. I'm getting my things backwards here. It's okay though, you know what I mean. Two, perfect. Three, yep, exactly. Five, perfect, high five. <laughs> Two, yep. One, one for good job. Wonderful. Okay, my friend. Um, Eyes are looking fantastic as well, literally. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. Zero concerns there. And I didn't think there would be, but it's always good to check, right? Yeah. Okay. So now what we're going to do, um, we'll check your taste, smell eyesight. We're going to check your hearing, okay? And I have um, a series of tests. One's going to be auditory, um, me whispering words into your ears, respectively, and you repeating after me. And then I have a quick frequency test using my handy-dandy tuning fork here. So 
We'll just start with the tuning fork and you let me know when you can hear this and when you can't hear it anymore. Sound good? Good, all right, here we go. Good, one more time. Fantastic work. And good, and one more time. Beautiful. Seems like both ears are working pretty uh, well, and uh, your, your hearing's pretty much the same in both ears, so that's good. Um, that test, you know, is going to allow me to understand where your ears are, respectively. If you have damage in one ear, obviously you have a harder time hearing those frequencies, but um, so far so good. Now I'm going to do a little whisper test, so I'm just going to say a series of words into your right ear, and you just repeat what I say. Easy as that. Sound good? Good, okay. So I'm going to go to your left ear over here first. Whisper. Whisper, exactly. Red. Red, yep. Flowers. Flowers, yep. Yeah. PlayStation. PlayStation, good. Victory. Victory. Good job. Your uh, left ear is perfect. So let's go ahead and check out your right ear now. Hello. Football. Football, yep. Basketball. Basketball, perfect. And... Raspberry. Raspberry, yeah, exactly, okay. Both the ears are working perfectly. Um, I'm gonna take a quick vision, uh, quick look with my light here. And I'm gonna be pulling around your ears, don't mind me. A lot of uh, patients find this part actually relaxing, so. But I'm just gonna get my flashlight here, okay? I'm just gonna take a quick look. You're gonna obviously hear me kinda messing around, but just try to relax, okay? I'm gonna start with your left ear. Beautiful. Now let's go ahead and take a, a quick look at your right ear. concerns there and like the good doc I am I'm gonna go ahead and log my results here ears are hearing wonderfully Absolutely not least. Um, we're just gonna test the, 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 your, the sensations of your face, for lack of better words. So I've got a tool, just a little pick. One side is a little bit uh, sharp, and the other side of the pick is gonna be dull. dull. So nothing to cause you pain, of course, but you just let me know. Um, when you feel the sharp side or the dull side. Sound good? Perfect. All right. What'd you feel there? Sharp? Yep. Dull? Good. 
sharp, dull, sharp, dull, sharp, dull, good, sharp, dull, sharp, dull. Good job, my friend. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, uh, just really briefly, I'm gonna feel around your neck. Um, and then that's probably gonna cover our tests here. And so far, you're passing with flying colors. Absolutely, good job. So, I'm just gonna feel around. Any of that? Causing you any discomfort at all? No? Good, okay. Beautiful. Okay, well, my friend, another year has passed and another successful, very successful cranial nerve exam has come and gone. You didn't have anything at all that uh, you should be concerned about. Your overall health looks fantastic pertaining to your cranial nerves. Um, so well done on keeping up with whatever it is you do routine wise to maintain your level of good health. Claps for you. I know this year has been a difficult one, but it seems like we're moving past the hard stuff, getting back to the good old days. So. You've done a great, fantastic job, my friend. And if there's anything you ever need, please, you know where to find me, and I'll be here for you. Perfect, all right. Well, I'll see you next time, and let's not make it a year before we do this again. Sure, all right, well, have a beautiful day, and I'll see you soon. All right, bye.